Storm Team Weather. Here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Ramirez. Sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. We had cloudy conditions today. Now we're going to start seeing those cl clouds start clearing out as we head into those overnight hours. But we're going to continue this warming trend for the rest of the week along with the mostly sunny skies. We're going to see those highs reach the upper 90s. And then we're anticipating we're still watching the tropics because now we have Tropical Storm Cristobal that's near uh, the Yucatan Peninsula right now. The center of this storm is 50 miles northwest of Ciudad de, de Carmen, just near Mexico, causing some flooding conditions. This is forecasted on Friday to actually start moving towards the north, very uncertain on where exact the landfall is in terms of the U.S. landfall, but uh, of course we're still potentially watching this system as it's anticipated to continue that tropical storm strength as it goes closer towards the U.S. coast there as we head into uh, next Saturday and Sunday, so we're definitely going to have to be watching that system. Very uncertain, stretching from southeast Texas all the way to Mississippi, Alabama state line, so uh, they're under the gun for potential tropical weather for the next seven days. Looking for us here in the Concha Valley, cloudy conditions for the most of the day. We cleared out just briefly and then we started seeing those uh, partly clouds, those cumulus clouds just kind of be in the area uh, for this afternoon. Those highs officially reaching the upper 80s, clearing out a uh, very beautiful sunset there as we went into those evening hours. But right now, still seeing some very pleasant temperatures here across the Concho Valley. Seeing those temperatures are in the 70s here in San Angelo, 78 in Sterling City, 76 in London, 76 in Junction there. As we look at those wind speeds, we're dealing with somewhat a little bit of a breezy conditions. Winds out of the south around 12 miles an hour. Now we're going to start seeing those those winds calm down heading into the next few hours or so. Very quiet conditions in terms of that radar. We did see a few scattered showers off to the southeast of St. Angel, but now those, of course, have fizzled off. We have this high pressure system that's currently in this place just to the east of us here. It's bringing in some moisture into Texas, which is causing those muggy and cloudy conditions along with those isolated lingering showers that were in and around the Texas Hill Country. But from here on out, we're going to be start warming as we head into the next several days. We're going to have this high pressure that's going to be building across Texas, which is going to cause those highs to reach the upper 90s is also going to be responsible for keeping those skies clear for the rest of this week. So we're going to have mostly sunny conditions along with that sunny uh, with those uh, summer-like conditions as we head into the next several days there. But of course we're keeping an eye on that tropical system because if that tropical system does move closer towards Texas that could potentially cause some rainy conditions for us here bringing in some moisture for us here in the Concha Valley as we get into the next several days the next week or so. Tonight getting down to 67 degrees clouds are going to be clearing winds out of the south southeast at 5 to 10 miles an hour. As we head into tomorrow, tomorrow a little bit warmer, highs at 93 degrees, mostly sunny. Pretty hot for tomorrow with those winds out of the south at 5 miles an hour. For the next seven days, expect those high temperatures to continue warming into the upper 90s as we head into the rest of this week. A very quiet and calm weather pattern. However, that heat's going to be returning for us here. Those summer light conditions expected as we head into the uh, in the first week of June into the second week of June. Overnight lows in the upper 60s. We could be in the 70s going into Friday and Saturday. But then, unfortunately, we're going to potentially surpass the 100 degree mark going into next Monday and Tuesday there. So so definitely not really expecting any rain chances for the next several days. Just anticipating that summer-like weather uh, that's going to be in the picture for us here in the Concho Valley with those highs in the upper 90s and then next week with those highs topping out at 100. And don't forget, you can always sign up to win our Winning with the Weather prize. This week, you can win a 14-foot pro trampoline with a basketball hoop. Uh, this is uh, You can sign up on the ConchoValleyHomepage.com and the winner will be announced during the KSAN News at 6 during my live weathercast on Friday, June 5th. We'll be right back.